Hey guys, Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have the full quest guide for the Millennial Mountains. So for this quest, we have to find six items to offer. Now to start the quest, we have to talk to Wang, which he is right here. So there'll be some dialogue and then he's going to give you some clues on where the items are. So the clues consist of close-up shots on where the items will be. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get all of them. So let's start. First, we are going to get the Flower of Farsight. So we are going to teleport to the Statue of the Seven. Now for this part, we are just going to fly across and just climb up this cliff and then you will climb up the cliff again and then see this hole here with like this blue stuff coming out green stuff use it to jump up it's just a quick shortcut i love that they added this in the game because i absolutely hate climbing okay so climb up and then we're going to go over to the right side and then you will see another one of those um i think it's animo portals i'm going to call it that okay so go down you'll see that there and we're just going to use that one to just jump up there we go and then we need to climb up this part of the mountain you can't climb up from the left side just because there's like a bunch of rocks blocking you so you have to find like some sort of flat surface to climb up so from here we are just going to climb up again and then yeah, just keep going up and then once you've reached the top you want to head right down to the very end of this cliff so I'm just going to head all the way down You'll see a guy standing amongst the flowers, so talk to Tang and then you're just going to pinch one of these flowers. He'll get mad at you and there will be some dialogue and then you will have to fight him. He's super easy to uh, beat though, so that should be quick. There will be some more dialogue and then eventually you are going to convince him to you know, swap what you need with an egg. So give him an egg and then you have your first item. All right, item number two, we are going to teleport to the Glaze Peak. Now for this, see right at the top of that cliff there, we need to go up there. So I found the best way is to go around the other side. So I'm just going to head to the front of the chasm and then we are going to climb up these rocks right here. So I'm just going to keep climbing until I get to that peak. Now once you have reached the top, all you're going to do is head to the edge of that cliff where that eagle is 
and what you want to do is literally just pick up the items that are lying on the ground um, in that nest right there and then that is your second item feather is done next we are going to go for the sundial of ages so teleport to the surface and then we are going to climb up these rocks right here so just climb up and then once you are up keep climbing up these small cliffs here and then you'll see a larger cliff with some uh, flags there so we just want to get up to that one so I'm just going to jump up and once you are at the top you'll see there's a treasure hoarder there so he is right there we're just going to fight him so defeat him um, should be really easy there's only one of them and then once you are done on that table we just have to investigate and then that is the third item the sundial of ages all right next item we are going to teleport to the gorge and this is the cup of commons to get this it's kind of like a mini quest and to start this you actually need to start the seven star seal sundering quest you only need to do like the first part to access this so you will find a bunch of treasure hoarders around this area if it is triggered so we are just going to defeat them you'll get a short cut scene and then you'll get some dialogue so you actually have to go somewhere else to get the cup so teleport to lumber pick valley and then talk to the guy that is just in front of you there will be some quick dialogue you can pick whichever option he gives you and then we are going to go to the treasure hoarder camps and just clear them out so they are all marked on the map or depending on which choice that you chose so i chose the first option so i'm going to the first treasure hoarder camp right now there's a bunch of treasure hoarders walking around you can just ignore them or fight them it's up to you so we are at the first camp so i'm just going to clear this one out so you just have to clear them out and you'll find that there's nothing around each of the areas and then we need to go to the next one so they're all very close together so this part is very straightforward so there's a bunch of treasure hoarders running here um, you can fight ignore up to you and this is the next camp we are going to clear out so i'm just going to fight these guys and then you will head to the main camp and that is marked on your map as well so you can just follow that now here you will have a bunch of enemies to fight so this fight takes a little while so it's not too bad though so i'm just going to fight everyone and then once you finish the battle you will get a chest and inside the chest is the cup of commons okay next we are going to teleport to the chasm's mew and we're going to get the helm of wilding so this one's very quick and easy so what you want to do is we are going to glide over to that hut over there so you just want to jump straight off that cliff and glide straight so you should be able to land on that roof right there so just going to land on that and then you'll see there's an opening you can head straight through that for a shortcut then jump through this hole and then you want to go to the right and there's a secret room and then you want to use pyro and you are going to light that hay on the ground on fire that will give you like a secret little entrance and then you want to go inside investigate and then you will get your next item the final one we're going to teleport to the gorge and i found this one's the most annoying to get because there's a lot of climbing so we are going to head over to the left and i'm just going to climb so i'm going to climb up this side and then climb up here so there's a few ways you can climb up um, I believe after I did this quest found out that there are spots where you can use those plates to jump up to make it a bit quicker but um, anyway it's fine like you know you can just take your time or you know go up quickly <laughs> up to you so this is the route that I took so I'm just gonna climb up 
And there is a very tall cliff which you want to go on top of um, on the right hand side. I'm just going to keep going around and then I'm going to climb up this one. This is not the right cliff but I'm just going to climb up this one so I can jump over to the other one easier. Okay, so we've almost made it to the top. We just have to climb up one more, which is this one right here. So let's just do the final climb. And then once you get to the very top, you will find the spear. So grab that spear and that is all you need. And once you have all the items, we are going to teleport to the Chasm's Mew. And then we are going to head back to the memorial um, that's marked on the map. So I'm just going to go down there. Just glide down. And then you are going to offer the items at the memorial right here. So confirm that. And then the rocks will be removed on your left. And then you can go down. There's a luxurious chest and then also a bunch of artifacts for you to grab. And then you just need to talk to the stone tablet, read that. And then once you have all that, just go back up and then we are going to talk to Wang. And once you talk to him, that will finish off the quest. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. I will be posting a lot more Genshin Impact videos, including every single chest in the chasm. So please wait for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more chests, check out my other guides for other areas. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.